hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching for today's video i'm going to do some dollar tree bathroom diys now these are for my small bathroom so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft As you can see my bathroom is really empty so I'm going to start with this corner and from Dollar Tree I'm going to use four of these wall hanging decor wood pieces and eight Jenga block pieces so I'm going to start by gluing the Jenga blocks I'm going to start with the first wood piece I'm going to add four Jenga blocks and I'm going to add them two on each side of this wood piece but they are going to be at the very edge and I'm only using hot glue for this now I'm going to glue one of the wood planks on the side but first I'm going to add two Jenga blocks so like that when I add the other wood plank it's gonna be easier now I'm only using hot glue because the greenery I'm adding is not heavy but to make this sturdy you can add wood glue now that I have one of the sides glued on, I'm going to glue the other two Jenga blocks on the other wood piece and then glue the other wood piece. And as you can see, I am making a wood long planter, so I'm going to add the last wood piece. For the bottom, I will be adding this extra wood plank that I had. Now, I am going to use the five other ones in my next DIY, but I had this extra one from that, so I decided to add it here since it fits perfectly. And these are from the Dollar Tree. To paint this, I'm going to use this color I made myself, mixing a whole bunch of paint that I will have down in the description box in case you want to make this color. Now look how beautiful this looks once it's dry. And to cover these little holes that these planks had, I am going to add some jute twine at the top. To decorate my planter a little more, I will be making a bow using this jute twine and then I'm going to add it to my planter. For the greenery, you can add some Dollar Tree greenery, you can add some Walmart greenery, but the greenery I'm adding is this eucalyptus that I got from Burlington. It was $7.99 and I felt like this went in there perfectly. It was long and beautiful. So once I am done, I will be adding the greenery and then this is how it looks and then after this I will be adding it to the empty corner. For my next project, I will be making a wall decor piece. So from the Dollar Tree, I will be using these wood planks. Six come in a pack, but I'm only using five. That one extra one is what I used in my previous DIY. And I'm also using this large wood piece that is also from the Dollar Tree. Well, actually I was gonna use this, but then I remember I had this extra um, piece of paint stir stick that I use instead. So now I'm going to just start gluing the wood planks and I made sure that all of these five fitted in here so the last two were like at the very edge. The other three that were in the middle I did leave a small space in between them. And 
and this is how it looks now i'm going to use these stickers that i got from michael's a while back i got these on clearance for a dollar so i'm going to put the word um relax i will be using a letter in each wood plank and you can use the dollar tree stickers for these they do have some poster stickers that you can use instead and once I'm done putting the letters, I'm going to paint this over it using the same paint I used earlier. All right, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to remove the letters. I did use this little Cricut tool, but Dollar Tree also carries these tools that you can use. And this is how it looks now I decided to add this Dollar Tree little transfer sticker on the L and I think this made it look a lot better after I was done transferring this I flipped this around and I added some pieces of drawstring so they can be the little hooks and I'm able to hang this you can add soft tooth hooks instead if you like but since this wasn't heavy I used the little strings And that is it for this wall piece that I think it turned out beautiful and it looks so great in that empty wall I had. My next project is going to be very easy and simple and you can see me there. But I am going to use this Dollar Tree bucket and I'm going to make this a little more my style. So I'm adding some jute twine on the side little handles. And that is all I'm doing. I was going to put on the front side nice butt, but I didn't have time. But I will be adding it later on. Now this, I'm going to use it on top of my toilet. Add some paper toilet and a planter. My next three projects are going to be small little DIYs. These are going to be used on a little shelf that we'll be making at the end. So stay tuned for that. So for the first small little DIY, I will be making a planter out of this. So from Dollar Tree, I use a little toy bathtub and I'm using the transfer stickers from the Dollar Tree as well. And I will be putting the word bath on the side. Now I'm going to make this into a planter so I will be adding some of the Dollar Tree floral foam. The greenery I will be using inside this is going to be some random one that I had like for instance this pieces are from Walmart. I will be adding some Dollar Tree eucalyptus and some Michael's little hanging eucalyptus things like these little hanging ones. I don't know what they're called and some more eucalyptus. So I just added random things here and there until I like how that looks. And that is it for my little small bathtub planter. For my next project, I'm using this wood hanging whiteboard. And I'm going to paint the little 
uh, wood frame you see the paint I've been using now don't worry if you accidentally paint the white part because that is like a dry erase so it is very easy to use a napkin even if it's dry to remove the paint now once I'm done doing this I did use my Cricut to cut out the word flush but Dollar Tree does carry stickers that you can use instead And then to decorate this some more, I had these little rubber transfers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add one on each side and that is it for this flesh sign which I think it turned out beautiful. The next project is very easy and simple to do. Now from the Dollar Tree, I will be using some nautical rope and you can use a cup, you can use any other thing from the Dollar Tree, but I had this little tent bucket that I got from Dollar General and it was a dollar so I decided to use this. Now I did wrap the nautical rope all around it to make a planter. As you can tell by now, I am trying to make things that aren't heavy so like that I can add more things to my little shelf. That doesn't mean I am making a weak shelf, but I don't want to add so much weight to it. Now for the greenery, I'm adding this greenery that I got from Walmart and that is it for this planter. For my next project, I will be making my two-tier shelf for my bathroom. Now from the Dollar Tree, I will be using two of these wood hanging decor wood planks and two wood slats. Now I'm going to glue these using a combination of hot glue, wood glue. I will be using this piece of wood to measure where I want my wood slat to go. This is going to make sure everything's nice and even. So like I said, I use a combination of wood glue and hot glue. I started by gluing the first wood plank and then I use some wood screws to add them to the bottom. This is going to make sure this is nice and secure. To add the other wood plank, I will be repeating the same steps. Before I paint this, I decided to fill the little holes that each little wood plank has and I use hot glue for this. You can use wood filler if you like. Now I added two holes, one on each wood slat. This is where I will be adding the screws when I add this to my wall. And that is it for my wood shelf.
and here is the before and after of my bathroom so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye